Dustin Poirier has come out and stated that he has broken his nose. The CT scan of his nose here shows fracture of nasal bones on both sides with depressed segments. The scan also shows that there is a deviated nasal septum as well. We Fight fans have speculated that it was one of the knees that Islam landed on him, but Dustin says that it was due to the headbutt before that knee. Treatment of nasal bone fracture depends on the degree of displacement. If the bones are aligned normally, then no treatment is required. But like that of Dustin, if the displacement is significant and the bones are not normally aligned and rather depressed bone segments are present, then if untreated, the fracture heals in its own distorted manner, which gives a very bad cosmetic result. It could also make breathing difficult as the nasal passages are compromised. In this case, both the nasal passages have been narrowed due to the fractures on both sides and the fracture segments being pushed inward. So due to the cosmetic reasons and because of potential breathing difficulties in future, it's better to reduce the fracture in time. Also, Dustin's nasal passage is even more compromised in the left side due to the deviated nasal septum. Nasal septum has been deviated to the left further narrowing down the left nasal passage. This has to be treated as well, as there will be breathing difficulties if not treated on time. So as Dustin has both the issues, Dustin will likely undergo septal rhinoplasty for his nose. He has also stated that he had fractured his rib. He hasn't specified which rib, but it most likely occurred during the fight during the takedown or clinch position. Rib fracture is usually self-limiting. It heals over time, however, rest and cold compression with possibly ice is recommended. Dustin should be okay within a month if the fracture isn't that severe or a complicated one. He however has to practice breathing exercises as well for speedy recovery of his rib and rib muscle function. Dustin has also stated that he has tore his ACL. ACL means the anterior cruciate ligament, one of the many ligaments in the knee. Again which side it is, the left or the right, or both is unknown. ACL injuries usually occur due to rotational force. That means forces that twist the knee into awkward positions that tear the ligament. This could happen when Dustin changed directions or stopped suddenly in the midst of the fight. Usually this tear interestingly has four classic signs, which Dustin must have experienced at the very moment the ACL was torn, or some after a few hours. Dustin probably heard a pop in his knee. He felt that the knee gave away, his knee was swollen, and he felt intense unbearable pain that essentially incapacitated him. Dustin, being the dog he is, probably continued despite the injury. Or maybe the pain started as gradual and worsened over time. Dustin can be seen walking in a compromised way after the fight feeling discomfort. Just with this footage alone, it can be speculated that his right ACL was torn. The treatment for ACL tear is reconstruction surgery. And the surgery is done at least 3 weeks after the injury. And it takes a while, ideally more than 9 months, for the knee to recover its full functions and the ligament to become fully repaired and intact again. Dustin has stated that he is going to retire numerous times and that the fight with Islam was his last fight. Since he has no plans of fighting again and does not see a purpose for fighting next, he will likely have a very peaceful recovery from the pending surgeries with not having to fight again next. Dustin of course should prioritize health and longevity of his life at this point over everything else and rightfully so. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Thanks.